Deerfield's ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines is on pause after a court ruling today. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross joins us live with more from the Village Hall. Jeremy. Oh, good evening, Erica. It was inside the building right behind us back on April 2nd where this ordinance passed. Back on April 13th, it went into effect. But people living in this community had until tomorrow to get those banned weapons out of their homes, out of the village, that is, until a judge is ruling today. Still got the buckshot right in there. His gunshot injury as a youth caused him to be fearful of firearms. Deerfield neighbor Timothy Murphy says he respects people's rights, but adds... I, I really don't think that there's... There's a need for an assault weapon, especially with all the violence going on right now. For a time, the village of Deerfield supported that point of view, passing a ban on assault rifles and high capacity ammunition magazines. Violators facing confiscation, destruction of weapons, and daily fines of up to $1,000. But hours before any enforcement, a judge stepped in and issued a temporary restraining order. My clients are very pleased. Um, they, they understand that this is but a step, but it is an important step. Attorney David Siegel represents a gun owner and gun advocacy groups, the Illinois State Rifle Association and the Second Amendment Foundation. He argued Deerfield's assault rifle ban was illegal under state law and undermined his client's rights, adding a judge agreed. I understand how people feel about not wanting to have their weapons taken away. Um, I just feel that society's gotten a little bit crazy. The village says it will honor the ruling, but quote, we are certainly going to review all of the options, including the right to appeal the decision to the Illinois Appellate Court. For us, the next step is asking for a permanent injunction or summary judgment, uh, a final judgment in the case. And we are told that request could take place sometime in the next two weeks. As for the village's next move, well, it could continue its legal fight. We should know a whole lot more in the following days and weeks ahead. Live in Deerfield, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. Erica. All right, Jeremy, thank you.